You had the black eye pea and corn salsa from TJ Fridays or Chipotle and wanted to make it at home. In the next three minutes, I'll show you how to step-by-step -step put it together easily. Follow the links below to order supplies and ingredients here online. Let's cook together now. You just saw me start with a nice olive oil, agave syrup, apple cider vinegar, cayenne pepper. In a bowl, combine them with salt, pepper, and a liquid smoke. Set it aside and start chopping the vegetables into a small uniform dice. What is black eyed pea salsa? There are some sides and some condiments that are secondary and sometimes an afterthought. Walk away. This is not one of them. Southwest corn salsa stands on its own or can easily elevate many entrees. It's a lead player in Southwest salad, a sauteed rice and black bean dish topped with blackened salmon. A quesadilla or a taco becomes magical with corn salsa exploding with flavor. The slight sweetness from the honey and corn or hint of sour from the vinegar is a perfect companion to the roasted corn and buttery black-eyed peas. Did I say there was a little heat from some spiciness? Leave it out if you're sensitive, but take a chance and enjoy it made right at least once. Grab a chip and enjoy some Southwest corn salsa on it. You're welcome. Where did it come from and who created it? We won't have an answer that, to that in this video. It seems to have made an easy evolution from salsa and corn respectively. The dish definitely has a Latin influence and a staple of their diets has been corn for centuries. My first time having it was at TGI Fridays when I earned my keep flipping burgers and burning steaks. Chipotle is probably the first thought for many if you have to think of its origin. But Chipotle didn't create corn salsa any more than Chili's created the awesome Bloomin' Onion Blossom. Put it together with canned corn or black eyed peas if necessary. I do this as you set some time aside. In our restaurant, we roast corn and freeze it. We cook black eyed peas and freeze them. These two ingredients will store in the freezer for a few months and defrost in a day in the refrigerator when portioned to your recipe size. The day you are making it, all the vegetables and flavors can be prepared during a lazy 15 minute prep time. Mix and marinate one hour and then enjoy in almost any dish. Okay, you saw me chop the red onions and some red bell pepper. I cleaned the onion, removed the yellow flour in the center, and chopped it finely. I cleaned the corn and seeds from the bell pepper, but left the pith as it's also full of flavor. Now for a fine chop on the cilantro, form it into a tight ball to streamline the chopping. After that, I will smash the garlic first to release some of the bitter oils. This also makes it easier to chop. After these are chopped and added to the other vegetables, I measure the corn and black eyed peas. The sweet yellow corn and white corn was previously roasted and cooled. The black eyed peas are cooked in water, lime juice, and salt and pepper, then cooled and ready to add to this dish. Dine with Devin, that cooking guy, cooking made easy. Combine these together with other ingredients and mix it well by hand. Are you thinking of modifying this recipe? It's a good idea to make it once to see what it should taste like. Some might leave out the cayenne, but the small amount blends nicely with the sweet, sour, and buttery flavors. If you don't have black eyed peas? Order them online in the description below. If you must substitute that ingredient, a buttery white bean might get close. Honey for the agave is absolutely fine. Everything else should be easy to find in your neighborhood grocery store. I wish you could taste these with me. They are delicious and addictive. Watch this video up here now.